All of us have doubts in that lesson, Nat. It's difficult. Let's revise it little by little. So, the vertebrates are those animals which have got a skeleton, right? And the invertebrates, those which haven't got one, okay? Now, take into account that the word vertebrate stems from vertebra. What does it have to do? Vertebrates have got vertebras. In other words, they've got an inner vertebral column. So vertebrates have got an endoskeleton. Among those which haven't got vertebras, that is the invertebrates, there are animals with a hard skeleton and others without a hard skeleton. Okay, ants like this are an example of invertebrates with a hard skeleton. Do you know any example of invertebrate animals without a hard skeleton? Worms, octopus, slugs, sea animals. Sea what? Sea animals. Those are animals that live in the water and have got a cylindrical body with tentacles on the top. Quite strange. There is something I still don't understand. If the skeleton helps us in our movements, those animals without a hard skeleton wouldn't be able to move. However, but those animals have got another kind of skeleton. They use the water inside their body as if it were a hydrostatic skeleton. Hydros what? Hydrostatic. Hydro means water. They use the water produced inside their bodies. But do they push with that water to move? No, they push with their muscles. They haven't got a skeleton, but they've certainly got muscles. I still can't figure out how an animal can move without a hard skeleton. For example, how does a sea anemone move? When the sea anemone is hunting any food, it stretches, searching the water with its tentacles. But if anything posing a risk touches it, the anemone contracts, gets flatter and wider, and hides its tentacles inside its body. Okay, imagine a balloon which contains water instead of air. A balloon full of water. I can imagine it. But in which way is that similar to a sea anemone? If you press a balloon full of water by its sides, trying not to make it explode, what will happen? I see. When the circular muscles contract, it is as if the anemone were pressed by its sides, so the animal stretches. But when the longitudinal muscles contract, it flattens. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!